So now, citations, their importance and how they can expand your search. So citations, I like to think of them as both waypoints and acknowledgements. They can help point readers to where you got your information and also help note that you're indebted to the work of others. All research is building off of the work of others, so it's important to note that work along the way. We'll talk more about the importance of citations when we talk about managing information in a couple of weeks, but generally, citations can help you expand your search by helping you look both forwards and backwards. So thinking about going backwards. So all research, again, is built off of previous work. Even brand new fields have their roots in other fields. That's what the introduction section of any academic paper refers to and also is its role. Um, this introduction section sets the stage for that research. So be sure to check out the work cited session, look through that introduction session, see what's cited, and follow your citation trail. This might help you understand the foundation of your work a little bit better, or it can provide you again with more critical information to your own work. So going forward, the research you're currently reading is likely being used by others. The number of citations doesn't necessarily demonstrate the article's worth. In terms of going forward, the research you're currently reading is likely being used by others. The number of citations doesn't necessarily demonstrate the worth of an article. Some fields do move more slowly than others, and perhaps it was ahead of its time. It's ultimately, again, up to you to determine the worth of a particular article. So going forward can be a little bit tricky. It's a little bit harder to pull that together and to harvest that information. Again, there's lots of research happening by lots of different people. I think the easiest thing to do is um, to use Google Scholar to give you a window into scholarship moving forward. So let's look at that article I found one more time. So I entered the title of that article in quotes in Google Scholar and hit search. So and of course, yay, <laughs> and wonderful yay, um, it's my only hit. So great, so there it is. Um, so sometimes I will say I have found that Google Scholar is not this smart. If you're having trouble finding your article in Google Scholar, maybe shorten the article title a little bit so you're just getting the core information, but keep it in those quotes. And again, remember that Google Scholar doesn't grab everything. All right, so I can already see that this has been cited by 29 other researchers, or again, 29 other researchers that Google Scholar knows about. I click cited by and now Google Scholar is linking to all of the things that cite this paper. And actually, as I'm looking through, um, I found on page two something that piqued my interest. This is also one that I see has the UM links button. I click that and again, that's true on any database. You see the maroon UM links or in this case, just the text based UM links button and it'll sync you up with our databases. So I click that link and that linking up process looks like this beautifully formatted little page. So I can see full text is available from Springer Link from 1997, which means UMass Libraries subscribes to this big thing called Springer Link and we have access to materials in this journal from 1997. So that's uh, not a lot of deep information, but it does give me some context for what to expect. So I click go and ta-da, here's my paper. I click view article and there's the whole thing, excellent. And again, just like before, I can see things like keywords, the abstract, and more citations. So this looks like a pretty excellent resource, so I'm going to add that to my list of resources. So to wrap up, this week we talked about different types of information, so the differences between popular literature, scholarly literature, and trade or professional publications. We talked about strategically reading through a source, and we've touched on citations. So that's it for now. May your information gathering efforts be fruitful, and happy searching!